Good evening, friends. Hi, Susan here. Welcome to my stamp room. Come on in, relax. We're going to create together and just have a creative escape. How are you all doing tonight? Uh, if all has gone according to plan, you are watching this on Saturday evening. I am pre-recording this video because I am um, at the Stampin' Up! Leadership Conference called Backstage in Las Vegas. But I still wanted to pop in and just drop a creative idea your way so that you can keep making and sending handmade cards to make the world a kinder place. Thanks for all you're doing. Um, I know that many of you are just constantly reaching out and sending cards and I appreciate all that you do. So thank you for that. Um, we're going to create another a card tonight with a sneak peek um, of some products that are coming on September 6th in the new catalog. So I'm excited to share those with you. Um, Jennifer is hanging out in the comments. She is live. So if you have any questions, please, um, you can put the uh, ampersand, no, the at symbol and Jennifer's name and she'll respond to them and depending on what's happening on Saturday night I think that's our final uh, party night so I probably won't be able to pop in but who knows you never know you never know what's going to happen so if you're on my uh, Sue Stanfield Facebook group um, I will be dropping pictures from the trip there so uh, anyone's welcome to join the Sue Stanfield Facebook group just uh, search for it on Facebook Sue Stanfield and uh, I'll pop you in the group. So let's go ahead and get this party started. So I'm gonna switch my camera to the desktop here. Let's see, gotta remember how to do that. <laughs> oh, that's not it. There we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's not good. You guys can see too much of my mess. Oh, look, I cleaned it all up. <laughs> little camera, little strategic camera positioning. <clears throat> So, uh, yeah, I have a messy desk, and when I lose things and I find them again, we play the found it game. So let me know what's in your cup tonight. I've got ice water in my cup tonight. Um, so we're going to use some new products from the upcoming mini catalog. Um, modern Garden is the name of the stamp set, and there is a, a punch, a Modern Garden punch. So the two are bundled together. And I'm going to show you several different ways. Now, obviously, you can use this punch as a big kind of... Um, what would we call that, friends? Would you call that? It's not really an oval. It's kind of like a mm, like a rectangle with round ends or a square that has two, like a half circle on each end. I don't know what you would call the shape, but it's a cool shape. And obviously you can, you know, punch just the shape as is. But I'm going to show you a couple of other things that you can do with this punch and um, just to make it work around. So we're going to... Um, Let's get started here. All right, what have I got? What have I got going on? Okay, let's see. Let's bring in our paper. Now we're gonna use this suite. Has some other products in it. It has these fun gems, Blooming Pearls. I've used all the small of the coral ones, but we're gonna use these. <laughs> so they come in gold. Um, I think it's Garden Green and Lost Lagoon or Pretty Peacock, actually Pretty Peacock probably, and then uh, Calypso Coral, but it's kind of a pinky coral, um, so it would go with a lot of things. And then um, we also have a designer series paper. Um, I have a little piece of it pre-cut here for our card. It is called um, um, Garden Walk is the name of the designer paper. Now, if you were able to tune in to my last Crafternoon, Crafternoon is a monthly class that I do. Um, it's, uh, if you place a qualifying order the month prior, you get a packet to make a card along with me in the video. And some of my um, people got, well, everyone <laughs> that got the packet got the stuff to make this version. Where is it? Here it is. This card right here. So this is the squeeze box card. You open it up and inside is an accordion. So you've got a squeeze box or a, um, an accordion and there's no music, <laughs> just the cards. And then I designed it to stand for display and I designed it so that um, both sides of the designer paper show. So everyone got the supplies to make this version and then they also got a piece of the garden walk paper, either this one or another floral pattern um, that they could decide to use instead of this or to make a second card. So there's really just beautiful, beautiful florals in this paper. We're gonna use this one tonight. And we're also gonna use something from the annual catalog. This is the Pretty Posies Embossing Folder. So let's go ahead and make our card. And I'm just gonna show you some fun ways to use that punch beyond the 
the common normal way. I'm clearing the deck, friends, <laughs> because we're going to do our embossing first. So let's bring in the die cut embossing and die cutting machine. And I'm catching on cords. Oh, and I'm going to show the camera. All the things. Okay, I usually don't emboss at this desk. So I apologize. I'm just going to shove it in so you all can see. Oh my gosh, I got to move this. I can't do my handle because the punch is in the way. I really need to clean my desk, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's not good. All right. Here we have our Pretty Posies embossing folder. It's a 3D embossing folder. And we have a piece of Calypso Coral that is four by five and a quarter. So I'm going to emboss this uh, paper this direction because my card's going to be a portrait card. So I'm just going to pop it in the folder and you could do it, you know, anywhere you want. Um, it's taller right here. So I'm going to, I'm going to go with that direction. I'm just going to, I think it fits in a little bit better if I turn it with the logo first and you can either do, um, I think they actually do recommend the seam side going in first. So I'll follow, I'll be a good girl. <laughs> follow the, follow the rules. Oh my gosh. I just spilled my water. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, you guys. All right. This is this, this is the bad part about <laughs> playing the founder game. Oh, hang on. Hold on. I just got to, oh my gosh, I got a card. Oh, it's a pretty card too. Oh no, you guys. So sad. All right. Hang on. It's all good. Ah, just grab it. <laughs> Mostly have some embellishments and that's not a big deal. Like a swap card. And then I got one of the um, crafting cards. Oh, I think it'll dry though. Maybe it's on one corner. All right. <clears throat> Sorry about that, friends. <laughs> Let's go back to what we were doing. I've now closed my water bottle. It does have a closure lid. I just didn't have it closed. Have you ever done that? Have you spilled something on a card? Like, oh, that is so annoying. The other thing that's really annoying is when you're um, making cards and you get a paper cut <laughs> and then you bleed on your card. Like, Paper cut's not a big deal, but like, no, I just ruined my card. Yeah, it's not good. All right, let's take a look at our pretty posies. Oh, they're just gorgeous. And they're a 3D and boy, they really pop. It's a very deep impression you get with this folder. So it's a good one to add to your repertoire. Again, that one is in the annual catalog. All right, let's bring in our, <laughs> I got a soppy mess over here. All right, we've got a five and a half by eight and a half piece of Calypso coral. Um, at the end of this video, I will put up the dimensions so that you can take a screenshot along with the card um, so if you want to recreate it but right now I just say relax and watch me make the card and then you can take that screenshot later so we're going to go ahead and adhere this on here now if you prefer a printable project sheet I do do project sheets for some of my cards um, you can subscribe to that right here. Go to SueStampfield.com, click on subscribe, and you'll get a, send a, well, a couple times a month the free project sheets. So you can subscribe right there. All right, so let's go ahead and put this on. And if you want to learn about the squeeze box fun fold card, you'll see the crafting and video here on my channel, or you can... Um, go to my blog, SueStampfield.com, and check out the uh, squeeze box post. I'm putting on lots of adhesive, you guys, just covering it. So my card base was um, eight and a half by five and a half, and my layer that I embossed is four by five and a quarter. I forgot to tell you that. I got so flustered by spilling my water all over everything. <laughs> there we go. And then we're going to grab some other pieces here. All right, so we've got a piece of... designer series paper. Again, this is called Garden Walk. And um, I want to use the pretty floral side and I'm layering on a piece of basic white. This is two by, ooh, I can't remember. Hang on. Uh, hang on, hang on. Hold on. Hold the phone. When I print out the directions, I really should have them over here. All right. The, um, okay, this is two by four and three quarters, and I'm going to layer it on a piece that is two and an eighth by four and seven eighths. So that's just going to give me a very skinny sixteenth of an inch border. If you want to, if you don't like working in eighth inches, you could make it bigger if you want. Totally fine. I wanted just a tiny bit of white on mine. So layer this right here. 
There we go. So we've got that. And then I'm going to do, um, I'm, before I add this on, I want to add some twine to it. So this um, suite has this Calypso Coral Braided Linen Trim. I guess it's trim, not twine. So I'm going to add a little bit of that to my card here. And I'm also going to do a, a, a punched message. You know, I think I'm going to do the, the stamping first here. So I'm using the uh, Modern Garden stamp set. Oh, here, I found it. Found it. Take care. I was like, where did I put it? It was right under the paper. Uh, take a sip, everyone. Susan is not allowed to take a sip because Susan spilled. So I'm just going to keep mine closed. But you should all take a sip. Um, so I'm going to use the It's Your Birthday stamp. And it's right here. I always need birthday cards. I'm going to open up the Calypso Coral ink pad here and ink up my stamp in the Calypso Coral. And I'm going to stamp it right here on my, um, how do I want to do this? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Maybe I want to punch first. Or did anybody see where I put the button? Oh, I found it. It was under my dimensions. Oh, take a sip, everyone. Take another sip. Susan is still banned from sipping. I'm going to punch it first and then stamp it because these are clear stamps. And so I'm going to be able to... Um, I'm going to be able to line that up. So I, I'm using kind of a small sentiment here. Um, it's your birthday. I don't want this whole great big um, punch. I want half of it. So I'm going to slide in my paper. Can you see there's kind of this circle in the middle and there's an X? That circle is the center point of this punch. I want to slide in my paper till I'm about halfway in that circle and mostly straight. And I'm going to punch. So it's kind of like an arch that I just punched out. And I'm going to just use that portion of the punch for my card, for my, for my in, uh, outside reading. And then I'm going to show you a different way to use the punch for your inside reading. So I'm ink and stamping this. All right. So I've got It's Your Birthday. Oh, look at that. Looks like we have a dog hair in our stamp. Oh, boy. Hang on. Yep. Whip it hair right there. <laughs> I have whippets. They're um, skinny dogs. They're uh, they're very similar to greyhounds. I'm going to punch out another piece. Um, I made this piece four inches by two, uh, which is bigger than I needed because um, with the punch, you need kind of a handle. You need something to hold on to, right? So fortunately, I can get two pieces out of that. <clears throat> I also could have turned it over, couldn't I? I could have flipped it over. Didn't think of that. So let's see. Let's hope I got all of the dog hairs. <laughs> out of my stamp. Oh my goodness. Ah, spilt water, dog hairs. This is real crafting, friends. This is not, this is not make-believe. This is the real on the ground, in the trenches, things we run into every day, right? All right, so now we're going to do an inside sentiment. I'm going to put enjoy your special day because that goes beautifully with my birthday card. So here I put it. Here it is. Found it. It was under the paper. Everybody take another sip. I'm going to ink this up in Calypso Coral. And this one I am going to stamp it first. Enjoy your special day. Hey, I haven't stamped it straight. Hey, how about that? So this is a one inch by four inch piece. I'm going to take my punch and I'm going to slide this in. And I'm going to, again, center it. Kind of holding it down, standing over it so I could see where center is, and I'm going to punch it out. And that gives me a label with kind of rounded ends. Um, so those are two different ways to use this punch. Just for um, comparison's sake, let's see what the real punch looks like. So here's, here's what it looks like if you used it full. Here's the half, and then here's if you use a skinnier piece. And of course, you could do even a skinnier piece and get um, a, a, a less of a curve and it would be obviously skinnier. So um, this one was one inch wide. All right. So let's put our card together here. I'm going to pop that aside and I'm going to add it's your birthday on the front. And I'm going to pop it about, let's see, I'm going to put it right here. 
it's not quite the middle. It's a little teeny bit down from the middle because I'm going to put some gems on these flowers. So I want to make sure I've got some flowers to stick my gems on. And then I'm going to grab this um, braided linen trim. And it is very much like linen. Um, it's like a linen shirt or whatever. It's exactly what it feels like. Um, twine and trim like this, they're actually very easy to tie. I think they're easier than um, if you struggle with bow tying and ribbons. Um, twines are typically easy to work with because they're skinnier. Um, so keep that in mind. And I'll just slide that down a tiny bit. All right, and I'm just going to put a knot right here. Sure you are, Sue. <laughs> All right. Okay, there we go. All right, so we've knotted this. Boy, it's a good thing I'm recording this. You guys are probably just going, oh my goodness, what is she doing tonight? <laughs> Spilling water, doing all the things, getting dog hair in the stamps. What are we going to do with me? But Jennifer, what are we going to do with me? I This is twisted on me. I, it's like upside down. Hang on. I have a fix for that. Let's see what it looks like if I flip it around. Do you know what I mean? The tails were going up and I wanted them to go down. I'm not making any sense. You'll see when I <laughs> flip it around. Now they're going down, which is what I wanted. So... All right, we'll trim that off and trim this guy off. All right, and there we have our little happy birthday message for the front. I'm just going to slide the ribbon up so that it's sort of flush with the bottom of that label. And then I'm going to put some um, dimensionals on the back of this. And I wanted to make sure that I added the twine before I stuck it on the card, right? Because I was wrapping around. So I think this calls for a lot of dimensionals. Let's do six. Now you can put dimensionals right over that um, braided trim just to keep it from sliding or shifting. Um, I think I'll do that. What the heck? Let's go for seven. <laughs> seven dimensionals. All right, there we go. So I've got that all set. I'm just going to peel these guys off. So pop them off here and put this on our card and then we're going to put our sentiment on the front now this um, calypso coral is a lighter color so i'm not gonna you know you can put a layer inside if you want i'm actually not going to if you want to put a layer it would be four by five and a quarter that's optional i will have that in the dimensions um, but i'm not going to do that because i think this will pop a little bit better but isn't that pretty? So pretty. One of the things I love about Stampin' Up! products is the color coordination. It's just gives you a much more professional look in your cards if the colors coordinate. So you got the matching ribbon, the matching cardstock, the matching ink, the, mat the paper with that color in it, and it really gives it that kind of um, finished look. So I'm going to go ahead and put my sticky on the back of here. And just pop that inside my card but I feel like it's a light enough color that I can write a message with a pen and it would show now of course you could also if you wanted to stamp a flower in here or something you absolutely could you've got all sorts of flowers in that stamp set but there we have our beautiful card let me pop up those dimensions on screen here oh wait I got a clean house oh don't push things in the water part Sue <laughs> Goodness gracious me, oh my. Okay, move that, move that. We've got stuff out here from all our last videos. <laughs> all right, there we go. Does that look better? Okay, all right, let's put up our dimensions here. So, modern garden card, pretty basic dimensions, but you want to go ahead and take a screenshot of that. And again, these products will be available to order on September 6th. However, if you uh, want to get them right away, uh, demonstrators can pre-order them. So if you purchase the demonstrator starter kit, you can put some of these new products in that kit and get it first. <laughs> so, and that's what I've done. That's how I've gotten it. So once you're a demonstrator, you get a discount, which is pretty awesome. All right, I'm going to flip cameras here. Let's go ahead and hide that. Go back over here. 
thanks so much for hanging out with me. Good to see you here. I hope you have, I uh, hope this sparked a little creativity and has um, inspired you to go make some cards so you can send them off to people. They don't have to be perfect. Um, they can even have water on them. <laughs> no, maybe not. Take care, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.